Hello! Um, this video shows how to download and install VMware Workstation 15. The main audience of this video are the students of University of Houston Main Campus College of Technology, specifically CIS 3355. But it can be used on any academia and higher education since the process is almost the same. So let's start by going to the website that is provided by the University of Houston and in case for the people that are not the University of Houston that is provided with any of the higher education institute through your uh, student email. So we're going over here and I'm going to provide that one that link underneath of the video so you can actually click on it and go for it. So. I'm going to use my credential and sometimes for a student it's going to be a little bit confusing specifically on this page because they may be forget to change the password their account is locked up but remember this account is already created when you become, became a student so the first step is not panicking and you can just simply go to the forget username or password and provide your university uh, email and if your account is existed over here they're gonna send a reset link for you and you can actually reset and access to the website so let's go and in, uh, log into the system when you log into the system, you directly go to the VMware part and if you can pay attention to it, you have a different other software provided by your university, which I strongly suggest you to download the uh, Norton 365, which is give you the password management system, antivirus and the internet protection, which is very helpful. And many other uh, application depend to which what uh, area you are studying. So let's go back to the VMware and the version that we want to install is a VMware Workstation 15 Pro. So remember VMware Workstation 15 Pro is for the Windows based machine and VMware Fusion is for the Intel based Mac machine like a MacBook Pro, regular MacBook and so on. So in this video, we will download the Windows base. As you can see that I have a Windows 10 and install it on the system. So let's click on that. And it's free and you can add it to your card and check it out. The serial number is provided for you so you can have it and it's going to be emailed to your email so you can use it when you install the machine to activate the license. So let's download it. It's about 552 so I'm going to install it on the uh, I'm going to download it on the desktop so it's very simple that we can see where is it. So now the VMware is downloaded. I'm gonna double click on it. Remember, sometimes depend on the uh, system configuration and the windows that you are using, there are some uh, third-party software need to be installed before the VMware running on your computer. So the most important part is make sure that you are have the latest update of the windows and the latest driver pack from the company that you purchase your computer. So as you can see over here, 
I'm gonna, I have to be restart the computer to install the uh, Visual Serial Distributable package. So I will restart the computer, coming back and continue the process. As you can see, I restart the computer and please make sure that when anytime you get prompted to restart the computer, make sure you restart the computer because sometimes if you're not doing it, some of the process is not going well and you're going to get an uh, unexpected issue in the future. So make sure that you just follow the instruction and restart the computer if it's necessary. So we're going to double click again on a VMware and run the VMware on our machine. <coughs> Now we're following the instruction. Next, we accept the term and license agreement. I strongly suggest to enhance keyboard driver. Click on that one, which is very helpful when you want to switch between the VM machine and the regular operation system that you install the VM on. I said next. This one is optional. You can actually join or uh, not joining to the process. I chose to not doing it. We definitely want to have a desktop as well as the start menu icon and we click install. Now the installation is completed. As I told you, you will receive an email which is contain your license through the your student account. So you go over there, copy that license and paste it over here. So you're going to get access to the VMware through the Academia license that is provided uh, through the University of Houston. Or if the audience of this video is not University of Houston, as still the process is same for all the university and colleges across the nation. And they're going to have access to this one and you need to talk to your um, department and they will provide it for you. Now it's asking again to restart and I strongly suggest when you are in a Windows operation system and it asks you for restarting, definitely go ahead and do it because that caused an unexpected issue on a Windows in the future, not only to using VMware but using the Windows by itself. So I will restart the computer and continue back in this video. Now we restart the computer and ready to activate our license. So we're going to the website. We go back to the website. We're signing into it. Go to the top right portion of the website and click on your name and go to your account orders. You can see the VMware that we just recently ordered and you go to the detail, view details, and you see the serial number here. So you basically copy and paste it and now run the VMware workstation. Then you're going to enter the license key. And your account is will be activated. <coughs> so I hope uh, this video has helped you to installing successfully the workstation, VMware workstation. You can use it for